Welcome to Refreshing Point Ministries, where Dr. Rick Layton is pastor and teacher. We thank you for your continued support of this ministry. For products and church information, please visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Now, get ready to receive the word as we are changing your world through faith. God wants us to get aggressive about our faith. He wants to get a, a, us to get aggressive about reaping a harvest. Proverbs 10, verses 4 and 5 says, He become a poor that deals with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent, what? Makes rich or maketh rich. It says, He that gathereth in summer is a wise son. But he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causes shame. Listen, child of God, look up here for a minute. We can't sleep through our harvest or allow our harvest to stand in the field. I said we can't sleep through our harvest or allow our harvest to stand in the field. When it's time to harvest, when it's time to go out and begin to harvest what God has brought you, you have to get up and you have to go after it. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, it's time to go after what God has given me. Look to the other side and tell your neighbor, it's time to go after what God has given me. Listen, I want to ask you that on tonight. Do you truly believe that it's time to go after what God has given you? Or are, are you sitting back waiting for God to drop it in your lap? You know, we have a good God. If, 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 if that was the kind of God that he is, that he just dropped things in our lap, then all of us would be loaded. He, he, he provides the things that drop in our lap, but we have to use our faith to get it to drop. Everything that you want to drop in your lap, God has, yes, he has already provided it. He has already given it to you, but you've got to use your faith to loose that thing. How many of you know that there's a devil? and he doesn't fight fair. Tell your neighbor, say, the devil doesn't fight fair. The devil doesn't fight fair. There's the devil, and he doesn't fight fair. The devil is constantly and continually trying to get us to believe a lie. He wants us to believe that God is holding things up from us, and many of us won't use our faith to go after the things that God has provided for us because we think that the devil is stronger. We think that the devil is greater. We think that the devil has more power than Almighty God. You said, oh, Pastor, I don't believe that. Well, if you didn't believe that, what, what's your excuse tonight? Go ahead. Look at your neighbor and say, what's your excuse? what's your excuse? I'm telling you tonight, we've got to get aggressive about our faith. Let's go to Mark. Uh, let's go over to the book of Mark. Let's go over to Mark. Go over to Mark 4 and then go to Deuteronomy 28. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and then hold your finger at Mark 4. That's what I want to do. Uh, I want to say something to you. Poverty is an aggressive spirit. I said poverty is an aggressive spirit. What you say, Pastor? What do you mean poverty is an aggressive spirit? Poverty is always trying to attach itself to you. I have so much tonight. I've been going for two weeks, and I have so much tonight, I don't know what to give you first. But I know that all that I give you tonight, you better get aggressive about it. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of sitting around and at the end of the year having the same money or less. Come on, lift your hand on that. I mean, just barely able to pay your bills. Some of you have been sitting, you've been in church for years listening to faith messages, listening to grace messages, listening to anointed messages, and still at the same spot in your life, still at the same place in your life. Well, something's wrong with that picture, isn't it? Th these are the uh, eight things I shared with you, and then we're going to go to uh, Deuteronomy 8 and then Mark 4. I shared with you at the beginning of the year that God uh, told me to tell you, listen, and... I would like to ask you by a showing of hands how many of you have done this, but I won't do it. I, I don't want to hurt myself. I just got back. <laughs> you know, I just got back. I don't want to be hurt. I told you at the beginning, uh, I told you that God told me to speak to you and tell you to open a new savings account. 
to open a new savings account. I know some of you say you have a savings account. Now, we're talking about money, and we're talking about getting aggressive about money. And I, I, I've stopped apologizing about talking about finances and trying to, you know, talking to the body of Christ about having them some money and getting something to them. I'm, I'm never going to apologize again. Now, if you mad at me, you're at the wrong church. I, I give you a pass to leave. And I don't want nobody to leave, but I'm not stopping this. Okay. Open a new savings uh, account and call it the over-the-top account. Open a new savings account and call it the over-the-top account. Isn't it something that people that already have money, they got all kind of accounts. And they'll tell you, your pastor don't need to be talking about this. Well, I guess not to them. But those of us that have been on Barely Make It Street, we want some new accounts. <laughs> Come on, are you listening to what I'm saying? We, we need to begin to pass finances on to generation after generation. Yeah, open a new savings account and call it the over-the-top account. Number two, I said expect extra money to come into your life. Expect extra money to come into your life. Expect extra money to come into your life. And you've got to get aggressive about this. You've got to get aggressive about expecting extra money to come into your life. Money shows up into the hands of people that like it. Amen. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to say that again. Money shows up into the hands of people that like it. Amen. I don't know about you, but I like me some money. Amen. Lift your hands. And folk, people that tell you they don't like money will lie about other stuff. <laughs> all right? Number three, deposit all. And some of people said, oh, you gave this to us. What good is it me have, having given it to you? The very people that are say that are the ones that didn't open no account. All right. <laughs> All right. Number three, deposit all new money, raises and so forth, into the over-the-top account. Don't just get that money and go to giggling. <laughs> deposit that new money, money that comes into your life, into the over-the-top account. That's how you're going to have some extra money. It's getting quiet in here, too. Number four, believe God that this will be your best year financially. Believe that word that came to you, that this will be your best year financially. Believe it. Get aggressive about believing that. Number five, I said start to give. If you're not already a, a giver, an aggressive giver, start to be an aggressive giver. Start to give tithes and offerings. Start to give in the way of tithes and offerings. And then I, I want to I wanna revise number six a little bit as I was meditating on this today. Find people that have less than you and people that have more than you. I See, I didn't put that in before. Find people that have less than you and people that have more than you and sow into their life as you are led by God. Because how many of you know we can't sow into everyone's life? Amen. The people that you sow into their life, uh, make sure that you're led by God when you sow into their life. Amen. And it won't just always be money. Sometimes God will give you to sow some time into their life. Sometimes God will give you to sow clothing into their life. Sometimes God will give you to sow food into their life. Sometimes, I mean, whatever it is, begin to sow that thing and watch God begin to favor you. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. What number am I on now? Seven. Start to give into the building fund. Your pastor mentioned the building fund. I'm back now. Your pastor mentioned the building fund and sow into the building fund like never before, set a monthly amount that you want to sow into your church's building fund. And then number eight, uh, this is very important here. 
Start to be the best employee that you can be, and God will honor you. Rick Layton, to order this message in its entirety, please call us at 877-227-8317 or visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Until next time, be blessed.